Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to record a prepaid expense. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And first, let me explain what a prepaid expense is. And then I want to show you how to record this in QuickBooks so that it'll just be set up and recorded automatically. OK, a prepaid expense is something like uh, something that's paid in advance for a future time period. So for example, if you get uh, an insurance premium bill for $5,000 for the entire year, and it's November. Let's say you pay it in November, you pay the $5,000. Well, really that expense should be written off over the course of the next 12 months, not all in November. And I see far too often where people will, you know, write off that expense or put it all as an expense, put a $5,000 expense in November, and then nothing for the next 11 months. And so it really skews the financial statements and uh, you know, skews the profitability of the business because that expense should be written off over 12 months, okay? So anytime that you have like a lump sum payment uh, that is gonna be written off over the next, you know, usually it's gonna be 12 months. I mean, it could be six months. It could be, uh, you know, a, a different time period, but a lot of times it's gonna be about 12 months somewhere in there. So. It's a payment that's upfront that covers a future time period. This is called a prepaid expense. And you want to you want to get this right in your financial statement so you have the right data. OK, so in this example, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, assume that we get a bill for, you know, six thousand dollars for insurance for the next 12 months. OK. All right, so we get this bill, and what, what's gonna happen is you're gonna go to vendor and you're gonna enter bills uh, when you get the bill in the mail and or online or whatever the case may be. And let's say I'm gonna pick a company only because I'm not sure if there's an insurance company in here. We'll say it's Great Statewide Bank, okay? And we got this, we're gonna say that we got this on November 1st, okay? The amount due. We'll say it's $6,000, okay? And the bill is due 11, 11, 20, 2023. Okay, so typically what most people are gonna do is they're gonna go here and they're gonna put this to uh, an insurance expense account. Let's say this is liability insurance. And so that expense will show up in November, 2023 as a $6,000 expense. Now that's where uh, it, it gets a little screwy because it shows this big expense in November, 2023. So what we wanna do instead is you wanna put this to an asset account, okay? An asset account, so a prepaid expense is gonna be an asset account. And you can see here that there's an account for prepaid insurance. A lot of times uh, what I recommend is you set up a main account called prepaid expense, and then you can put sub accounts underneath it for the various prepaid expenses you have. So it could be prepaid insurance, it could be some kind of uh, subscription or uh, something that's paid in advance. And that way you just have one main prepaid expense account and then sub accounts underneath it showing the various prepaid amounts. All right, so in this case, we're gonna say prepaid insurance and it's gonna be $6,000. We're not putting it to a customer. Uh, we'll put it to overhead for our class and we'll hit save and close. Okay. So now this is gonna show it as an asset. It's not gonna show it as an expense and we need to recognize that expense. So I tell uh, clients all the time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to company, we're gonna record a journal entry. And so what we have to do is we have to uh, show 1 12th, so an expense for 12 months uh, of the $6,000, 1 12th of the $6,000 as an expense every month for the next 12 months. So we're gonna, the same date as that bill, we're gonna say 11-1. We're going to first say prepaid insurance. We're going to credit this because we are reducing the prepaid insurance expense. Okay, so I simply go $6,000 divided by 12, and it's gonna be $500. Okay, the class is gonna be overhead in this example. And then over here, we're gonna say liability insurance, which is our insurance expense, $500. And again, I'm gonna put overhead. Now, before you save this, what you wanna do uh, is you want to memorize this transaction, okay? So we say memorize, and we're gonna call this prepaid insurance 2019. 
and I think it's 2023 in the sample file, but we'll say it's 2019. Okay, so in this one, we want to automate this journal entry. Uh, that way it's just entered every single month. How often? We want to say monthly. Next date is going to be 12-1 because we're just doing it on a monthly basis. Number remaining. Okay, we're going to say there's 11 left. And if you want to do days in advance to enter, you can. Uh, for a journal entry like this, I don't think it's a big deal to put days in advance. Just uh, you can put it, at, leave it as zero. Okay, so we click OK. All right, and then we hit save and close. And now uh, what's going to happen here, let me pull up my uh, reports. We're going to say a, uh, I'm going to show you a balance sheet first. You're going to see here the prepaid insurance. Uh, it's got some other amounts in there, but you'll see here where uh, we did the 6,000 and then you'll see where $500 comes out. Okay. Now this sample company file doesn't have the 12-1 in there because I think the date on the file is 12-15, but what'll happen is this will automate that entry every single month. Okay. And let's see, I want to go to, uh, let's see, I'll go to reports and show you the profit and loss. And we will say for last month, right there, if we go down to liability insurance, there's some other amounts in there, but you'll see that our $500 shows up here. Okay. So now once you've got this set up, it should automate that journal entry every single month until it runs out and the prepaid is gone and it shows it all as expense on a month to month basis. Okay. Any questions, uh, feel free to leave comments below. Also, uh, if you want to learn more information like this with not just, you know, everything about QuickBooks, but also just, uh, you know, general accounting, how to record things, uh, you know, general business advice, head over to the QuickBooks University. Love to have you join as a member so I can help you with your QuickBooks file as well as your business questions. The website is QB University. Uh, purchase the tutorials and you can become a member today.